My name is Mustafa Barghouti. I am uh, the president of Palestinian Medical Relief Society, PMRS. The first thing that comes to my mind when I say I'm Palestinian is uh, struggle for justice. And uh, as you know, Palestinian people have been deprived from their rights, uh, all rights. The rights for self-determination, the right of freedom from occupation, the right for economic development, the right for humanitarian development. And uh, as I say always to people, we have been deprived from the ability to live normal life. We are deprived even from uh, the possibility of getting bored sometimes uh, in a normal life. Uh, everything surrounds us is uh, combined with oppression. And uh, this has been something that is going on for almost 100 years. I think the most important thing uh, that unifies us is this feeling of that we are all united in struggle for justice. Uh, and I think the best person who described our situation as Palestinians was Nelson Mandela, who said when uh, South Africa was liberated from apartheid, he said uh, we will never be completely free till Palestinians are free. Well, to make it simple and clear, uh, there is absolute lack of certainty. It is so difficult for young people to plan. They don't know when they get out in the morning if they are able to reach their school or not. They don't know if there will be a checkpoint that will uh, stop them from going to university or not. They don't know whether on that day there will be an explosion somewhere or uh, an attack somewhere. And the most important, they are not certain about their future. They study hard, and uh, when, they are, when they graduate, even if they were the best students, they are not sure they can find a job. 50% of Palestinian educated young people are unemployed in the West Bank, and more than 80% of the young people who are educated in Gaza are also without jobs. It's overwhelming when you look at uh, different aspects of their life. But I think what young people feel most, uh, as we all did, is this attack on their dignity. Because uh, at any point, a soldier of their own age could stop them and humiliate them. A soldier could stop them and shoot them just for nothing. Their security is always at risk. They have to go through so many difficulties for things that sound normal in any other country. I was born in Jerusalem. I worked as medical doctor in Jerusalem for 15 years. And uh, my sister lives in Jerusalem. But I am not allowed to go to Jerusalem. Uh, people who live in the West Bank are not allowed to go to, their, to see their relatives in Gaza. People in Gaza are under full siege. Most of them are not allowed to come to the West Bank or go to Jerusalem. You are talking about a very small country. Just to make it closer to people's mind, Im imagine a situation where people in uh, the second district in Paris cannot visit the people in the 12th district because there are checkpoints that would check on them and allow them or not allow them or prevent them. And if you want to travel from Paris to Lyon, you need a special permit. And uh, you might not get that, that permit. It's a totally abnormal situation. It's a status not only of uh, a system of occupation, but also a system of severe discrimination. Uh, the most important work is what Sikur Populaire is helping medical relief do for young people in Jerusalem. Uh, that means working with school boys and school girls. That means uh, giving hope to these young people. It also means that uh, you are fighting against poverty because you are helping these students continue and finish their education so that they can have a future. It also means that you provide these young people with skills to face the difficulties in life. Uh, you give them even sometimes the opportunity to have entertainment and uh, refresh their life. 
if I want to summarize uh, the value of what is done between medical relief and Secours Populaire, I would say it's giving the young people hope. It's fighting against uh, despair and uh, disappointment and uh, frustration. Uh, it's giving uh, these young people skills and knowledge and uh, empower them with uh, the ability to be hopeful and to struggle for their own future in a good way. But also, uh, much of what we do also concentrates on education of nonviolence and education of democratic values, uh, the importance of uh, social solidarity between people. It's an example of what solidarity should be about.